Hey guys, welcome back to my video. What is today? Wednesday, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure it's Wednesday. But um, today, I, ha I do have my face makeup on. And I, I never think to say I do use a beauty blender or makeup sponge. It's not always beauty blender brand. I use a lot of different makeup sponges. And... Um, Today, I am using the Ciate London um, I Am Woman What's Your Superpower palette. Can you tell? Not only do I like it, but so do my granddaughters. Um, it's, it's a good palette. It's a beautiful palette. And the eyeshadows work very beautiful. Um... I haven't used it in quite a while, so I thought I'd pull it out today. Um, here I also have the Pretty Vulgar Nesting Bitch Face. Excuse my language, but that's what it's called. Um, so, and I'm going to use the top. I am not using the contours or the highlighters. The highlighters are a little, the highlighter is a little too dark for me. I am using for highlighter the Beauty Bakery Milk and Honey Highlighter Palette. I will use this. And for my contour, I will use the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette. Let's get it open. And there is the palette. You can tell I only use these two. So when those pans are empty, I'll pass these four along to my granddaughters. But it does smell like cocoa. It smells divine, to be honest. But I prefer not to smell like chocolate. Um, I like my flowery, you know, floral fresh anything i like those type of scents on me not something edible um okay i'm gonna use my little fluffy brush here and just set a base color down um let me move these palettes over so i can lean in closer here i don't always have a lot of room to work with i have a lot of makeup and brushes and stuff like that so i actually have one two three vanities that are connected and they're full and then i have shelves shelving units you know bookcase type shelves that are full i mean if i was to add anything else i would have to add more shelves uh more vanity and my bedroom is humongous. It's like two, maybe three bedrooms put together. And so I take up a lot of that room with my cosmetics and skincare, hair care, you know, with stuff like that. So, yeah, see, this, this doesn't have any fallout, you know, so it's a good choice if you put your foundation and stuff on first. I usually don't, but for these videos, I do so that I can skip that part and just get on to the good stuff. Check in my mirror over here, and I think it looks good. Try to move that a little bit closer. But, yeah, so yesterday I went to the doctor's. That looks nice. I like that. And that visit went well. Um, I had to do blood work, and he made me do it right then and there. He made me walk right over. It's right in the same building. It's just like a few feet away. I walked right over and did my blood work right away, which was nice because... Um, the phlebotomist was somebody that I know, you know, from the past. Beautiful girl. And I didn't even recognize her at first. But um, 
her father owned a restaurant that two of my daughters worked in in the past uh, for a very long time. And that was like where we always ate when I was married. Um, but then after like so many, many, many years of business, they shut down and everybody moved, moved on. So I'm just going to go in a little bit deeper for my crease and blend it out. But, you know, as you can see, this palette, you know, there's no fallout. I'm checking, you know, it's pretty good. I mean, there's always going to be a tiny bit of fallout between your brush and your face. Yeah, see, I like that. Get the other crease. For me, I like to, you know, blend it out. Everything blended really good. When in doubt, blend it out. <laughs> Come down a little bit on that one. Gee, I just like, I like that just as it is. You know what I mean? Like, where is my, do I not have it over here? I thought I did. I do. My little itty bitty bitty brush. I'm going to put a little bat, bit of that underneath as well. I have so many brushes. I need to pay my granddaughter to come get them all cleaned. I need to go through them, you know, sort through them, you know, give the girls the uh, brushes that, because I have my go-to brushes, you know what I mean? They sit in a separate container from everything else. I've got, like, brushes here, here, over here, and here, and up here. I mean, I just have brushes everywhere in containers and I need to go through them and kind of like slim it down a little bit. I think if, if I did that, I'd probably use more of the other brushes, but you know, I guess there was a little bit of fallout. That's probably from me doing the bottom and it hitting my lashes. My nice big fluffy brush. I love that brush. Okay, then I'm going to hit that corner a little bit with a darker, deeper shade. It's more brownish. It's good to make like a V if you can or if you like, that is. We don't always like to do the same thing. I have on a turquoise bracelet and necklace that my sister had given to me. I have that on today. And I, I do love like my ring and I like turquoise. Most of my jewelry that I buy is white gold. I think I look better in white gold and my skin because I am so allergic to everything. Okay, for my lid, da 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 da. Okay, something shiny, of course. And I just use my finger when I'm doing my lid, when I'm doing, you know, shimmers and all that. You see, I have a little. I use my, I have a box of Kleenex handy 
for this purpose. I think that turned out well. Now I have a nice big fluffy brush that makes sure I have it all blended nicely. I'm not a professional, so I'm not teaching you how to do your makeup. <laughs> I'm showing you how I do mine. You may find something I do useful for you. You may not. But I always like to hear in the comments, you know, I love reading, you know, the comments and hearing what you guys think and what you guys do and, you know, all that good stuff. Okay, now for the corner and my brow up there, I guess I put my little blender away too quick, but that's okay. I use the highlighter. And I hit that news because I want the light to catch that. And, you know, it's kind of like we're artists. We're, and we're deceiving people. <laughs> We're making things look like they are not. And for some reason, my lighting, it keeps getting like dark on this side. I don't know if that's showing up on the camera, but, um, and my lighting is absolutely no different than it usually is. Let's see, does that help? No, that makes it worse. Not worse, but it makes it like I'm sitting in the dark with the flashlight on me. I don't know. We'll see, I guess. Okay, I am a woman. Hear me roar. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I think I'm going to put a coat of mascara on. Yeah, I think my lighting is pretty crappy today. But, I mean, it's just my ceiling light in my bedroom, my floor lamp. I have a small light over here. I have on the lights from my vanity mirror. Maybe if I turn this a little bit, that'll help. And I see the light from my wax burner as well. I love my wax burners. I have one in every room. And what's exciting for me is, you know, I change it. I change the scents with the seasons. One scent I really fell in love with this summer was a first for me but it was lemonade and there's a lot of different uh scents of with lemonade scents in it from um what's it called scentsy but i ordered it from someone on my facebook she had a part facebook party like an online party and i ordered a bunch of it and oh my gosh like, my entire house was enveloped in it, and it smells so good. Now, some of my bulbs blew out, and I replaced the bulbs, but I don't know what I did wrong. I bought, I didn't buy the normal wattage. I bought a higher wattage 
than what I normally would buy in the past. And for some reason, the melts don't melt all the way. So I got to check into that because fall's coming. And like the uh, last weekend when I went to Walmart, they had pumpkin spice coffee creamer. I was like, yay. So I had to get a couple. And I already have pumpkin spice coffee pods, which is a good thing. Because when I looked on there last night, no coffee pods. They're already sold out of pumpkin spice coffee pods. It's like, what? Already? I mean, it's just August. But I know people are stocking up. They are stocking up. And truthfully, that's what I was going to do too. So I can't talk no crap because that's exactly what I was going to do. <laughs> but I do have some already. I, I keep stocked up the best I can on coffee. Coffee pods and ground coffee. Because sometimes we just make a pot. You know? I don't know what it is. I think it's everybody... You know, if if you have the same issue, comment below. Let me know. Um, like, I have multiple sclerosis. And I think pretty much everybody with, you know, autoimmune diseases, like my glands swell up around here all the time. All the time. It's like, yeah, all the time. Okay, I'm trying to keep stuff in where I need it. Okay, now on to contouring my nose. I have a big nose. So like I said, you know, we deceive people with makeup sometimes. I want to make my nose look a little bit smaller if possible. We make our lips a little more poutier. And of course, like I said, I blend. I mean, that's really what we should be doing. So that's what I do. Oops, got my blush brush caught in my contour. Oh, no. Yeah, it is my contour. Okay, blush time. Like I said, pretty vulgar. And I'm going to use that top shade. And I'm, I don't remember what it's like, so I'm going in lightly with it. <laughs> when you hold your brushes, they say if you hold the, the furthest away is better. You have more control. So that's what the experts say. I just hold it however is comfortable for me. Right? It's what works for us. And a little bit of the Beauty Bakery highlighter. What color is that? Spoiler alert. <laughs> Man, do I miss BoxyCharm. BoxyCharm was like the best. And I had I had the big box coming. I had the premium box. I had two subscriptions. And I got everything on each one. So I had multiple boxes. 
And plus I shopped when they had the shopping and like the prices of the stuff was phenomenal. I mean, you really couldn't go wrong with BoxyCharm. Now they did start to slip and of course, you know, when Ipsy, when they merged with Ipsy, they got even worse. So I'd like, and I canceled my Ipsy, because Ipsy, all I ever got was skincare anyways. So I canceled everything. And I left it canceled for two years. And then I go back, and BoxyCharm is no longer there. They are Ipsy, 100%. And... That's what I was getting was Ipsy boxes. It wasn't boxy charm anymore. I was getting Ipsy boxes. I mean, it was skincare, skincare, skincare. And to shop, their prices are nothing compared to what boxy charm prices were. No, I mean, no comparison. I'm going to spray a little bit of my setting spray. Morphe. I love that continuous spray. Yeah, but I mean, big, big changes, and they weren't for the better. I mean, that's just in my opinion. You may like it more. You know what I mean? Um, that's just my opinion. But so I canceled it all. Um, I was, I bought some of the refreshments, deodorant and body wash and stuff like that. And the body wash dried my skin out really bad and I already have dry skin. So I definitely can't, you know, use a body wash that doesn't complement my skin. It has to nourish my skin. But, and the deodorant. The deodorant, I have never had body odor in my life, under my arms, nothing. So, um, I could pretty much use whatever deodorant I want to, and I don't even have to put it on every day. But that deodorant from BoxyCharm, I believe it's aluminum free and everything, it didn't work for me. It was like, wow. Same day. So, I had to give up on that too. So, well, that was from Ipsy. And it's like, I, I just, everything about them really wasn't good for me. You know, and I was looking the other day on what their products were for this month. And again, they're loaded down with skincare like there's no tomorrow. And I mean, these started out as makeup subscriptions and they got carried away with the skincare. I mean, yes. I'm interested in some skincare, but not all, you know, I still like my makeup. So, you know, oh, well, what can we do, right? Well, the thing we can do is cancel and that I did. No. Oh. Jennifer Lopez. I love the, the bottle. It is so pretty. I've had this for just a couple months. It has, you, you can smell that it's got a scent that hits you, but then it has a soft, subtle scent as well. And they kind of blend together and throughout the day. 
they blend together even more. So I like it. Um, trying to... I need more lippies. Um, liquid, I, my favorite is liquid matte lipsticks. With your bullet type lipsticks, I used to have to redo my lipstick all day long. And this, you know, when these came along, oh, it changed everything. That's that bad shoulder. brushed out. If, if you, people who know me on here know that my hair years and years ago was extremely short. Like it was cut with hair clippers, like military cut. And But then I worked out a lot. I have na I have natural curly hair. You wouldn't know it right now because I flat iron my hair after I wash it. That's the only time I flat iron it. But um, my hair was super short, and but I ran every day and or walked, you know, fast paced walking. And I worked out at the gym every day, seven days a week for a couple hours. Sometimes I'd go back and do it all over again. I would even exercise at home, everything all day long. And I really, really ate extremely healthy. I cooked healthy and ate healthy. Um, so because of that, I kept my hair really short. It was still short before that, you know, but it wasn't as short. So I definitely have my natural curls going on up there. But anyways, um, I hope you all have a beautiful Wednesday. Um, this is it for my day. I'm dressed, got my hair brushed, got my you know, makeup on. So we'll see what the day brings me or doesn't bring me. Who knows? But I hope you all have an awesome day and take care. Bye-bye.